Cowabunga y'all, Captain Beardo here. Today is another Monday movie review or film review. I've been doing this these past few Mondays and I'm having a lot of blast from what you guys are recommending me and everything like that. This week's recommendation was Mean Streets. So shout out to Justice for the great recommendation. I had a blast watching this film. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Hey everyone. So Mean Streets. I absolutely loved this movie. From the cinema photography to the storyline to Three main characters or four main characters, however you want to view it. It's a really good show. One that I do recommend, realizing that it does take two hours long, and a good movie to just sit, watch popcorn, and just kind of not worry about your day or anything like that. I did watch this actually three times, just because I've noticed every single time I watched it, there would be scenes I did not quite understand, or the sequences did not like, I didn't, didn't realize that it happened certain ways, so I did have to rewatch it those two extra times just to kind of be able to review this film. Because it is a drama, it is very much so a linear story, but because of the movies I'm used to, I'm not used to this type of genre. That's why it's a little bit harder for me to like understand things like that, especially because it is a mobster movie. And like, I've seen Godfather and other movies around like the same topic or things like that, and I get somewhat lost, but I enjoy the film enough to where I need to keep rewatching it to kind of understand what's going on. So sorry if I'm missing some points and things and things there and there, but hopefully the person who recommended this just as will leave comments down below of his thoughts and or you guys can leave your thoughts down below as well just to kind of clear up this movie and everything like that. I did, however, really, really enjoy this movie. Oh, as I wouldn't have watched it three times, I would have given up after the first time. And this film did come out in 1973, which is... I feel like I feel like I my film class did talk about this because I took a 1970 film class and we talked about all the major films and I feel like this is one that we talked about but it wasn't quite I don't think we watched it but I think it was possibly even one in, that was like in the articles that we had to read about like the um, directors and things like that so this film was directed by Martin Scorsese. And I absolutely love the, his directorship and everything like that. He does a phenomenal job at most of his movies from what I've seen. And this is just one of those movies that is like, yes, this is definitely his directing. Definitely a story plot and things like that. And everything like that. Cast is Harvey Kellett. Kellel. Robert did. De Niro, David Proval, Amy Robertson, Robinson, Richard Romanus, Cesar Denova, George Mamoli, Harry Northup, Martin Scorsese, of course, and then David Curradine. And if I picture those names, sorry. I also don't have my glasses on, so it's hard for me to like, read names. A little bit, but hopefully I said those correctly. If not, I'm sure you guys will comment down below and be like, hey, you butchered this name wrong. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah. Again, every, the, I, the cast is phenomenal and all. They did a really good job. Especially Robert De Niro's character as Johnny Boy. I thought he did a phenomenal job, and this is kind of where... The beginning of his actual like acting career, I, I think, I believe, because he is fairly young. I didn't recognize him the first time I watched the film, and I, 
It wasn't until my third, my second or third time that I was like, oh, that's Robert De Niro. Okay, cool. Because I like, read the names at the beginning, but I didn't know who was playing who. And then I'm like, wait, Johnny Boy is Robert De Niro. That's really cool. And many of their faces like I recognize, but because of it did take place in the 70s, I didn't quite recognize them because of how young they were. Now, I did like the... I enjoyed that it... The main character is Charlie. And it was pretty much his life story or... Yeah, his slice of life. Within, like, and how it's presented as he's a mobster who... Kind of goes day to day tricking people, trying to get money for certain things. And he's like working for his uncle and things like that. It's... I really liked how he has it. And he has a... His best friend who is... Johnny Boy, obviously, who's younger than him and who's also kind of getting mixed up within all these things as well. One part I did, I loved it as a scene, was when they, when they're just like staying there and these two teenagers come up to buy fireworks and they're like, yeah, yeah, what type of fireworks are you talking about? And kind of just like negotiating or whatever and then the boys are like, yeah, we have $40, but we don't want to spend it all. Duh, duh, duh. And then they drive them in and go, all right, we'll be back in 30 minutes. We need the cash now. And they take like, the cash and obviously drive away and stiff them. And I was like, that's actually really, like, that little snippet of scene was really well done because you got a feel of the characters and, like, kind of, like, with the business that they're doing. And obviously, like, every single scene, they did, like, a slight business. They would obviously talk to each other and figure things out and even like show like some fighting like one of the scenes was like a bar fight or pool room fight where they like start beating up each other because the guy didn't pay the money or something like that and, and then the cops come down better to arrest him and then the guy's like pulls him over and is like here here here's here's money for your troubles where are you going oh you're going there all right here's some more and the, and the police is like, my partner's actually going over to this other place. And the guy's like, all right, here's some more money. I, it, 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 really good. And so, like, there's not much action scenes. Well, besides the fighting. But every single scene is more of, like, following Charlie around as a young Italian-American who lives in Little Italy, New York City. And... Just the scenery really made it feel like the 70s and just New York City in general and like the mobster area and like the goons and things like that. One scene that like kind of popped out of nowhere, like I don't know where like that storyline went with it, but it, it, it kind of like ring, lingered in my mind. I was kind of like waiting for it to pop up again was... The, when they when he had like the tigers in the cages and like he went in the cage and like the tigers all being like really nice or it was like a it was like it was one of the big cats I don't know if it was like an actual tiger or whatever but it was like a kitten of one of those big bigger felines anyway and I don't know what they did with them that kind of was just like a it was a cool scene to see and then the love affairs of Charlie and like that he is, like, having, like, one love interest and then one underneath the table. And everyone's, like, saying, well, he's he's doing this certain thing. I really like that dynamic. And then the end of the film, it was, like, kind of, like, the whole film was, like, pretty much of a build-up as a drama and everything, and, which I liked. Again, I don't know really how to critique these type of movies, but I did like that. It was, like, a build-up. It kept your interest throughout the whole thing. And it was built up up till the very end when there's gunshots and like the car and things like that, and you just don't quite know what happens. And I did watch this twi like again, like I said, like three times, and I still don't even know like what actually happens at the end because it leaves it up to kind of mystery of like, oh, did John Johnny Boy get away because the other ones got shot and he got shot or? is what's gonna like what would happen in, like the next film and it ends as the street skit is 
I guess the street attacks back to these people with what they're doing and everything. Therefore, it means streets. So, again, absolutely love the film. Kind of hard for me to criti- like articulate my thinking behind this film and like everything like that. I really enjoyed it. And I, thanks, Justice, for recommending it and everything like that. So I'll have to give this beard, this beard rating a thoughtful cinematic beard. Look at that. It's thoughtful. And it's very story-oriented story and you got to pay attention to what it is. So, yeah. It's a thoughtful beard. And that's my review. So if you got any other movie reviews, suggestions, leave them down below. And maybe if I watch this again and I... Because this might be one of those films I have to rewatch again to do. And I don't mind doing another review later on if there's more points I find with it. Because it is one of those I need to kind of keep rewatching to kind of get my thoughts articulated and out there for you guys. But yeah, so if you guys want more, just comment down below. I believe next week is actually going to be something I'm going to start doing, which is once a month I'm going to do a movie that I have seen and absolutely and kind of want to just critique and review. So next week, be on the lookout. Next Monday, be on the lookout for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Turtles Forever. And I think this was actually a requested from my good friend Colin again. But, yeah, so, be on the lookout for that. I'm excited to review it, and I'm excited to rewatch it, because that is one of my favorite movies. And it, so, yeah, again, comments down below for future thoughts. And even if it's a movie that you guys think is absolutely terrible, I might watch it. And, like, I'm thinking about possibly watching Avatar, don't want to put that out there, but yeah, I might just to get my thoughts of how which I absolutely do not like that movie, even though it is a cinematography uh, milestone, anyway. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling. Again, leave a like, it helps out the channel. Ring subscribe and ring that bell, and make sure that you're getting notified notifications both on your computer or tablet or phone and make sure that it is set up not just on the YouTube app itself but it's also set up on your computer settings as well because there is those two they have to go through and and again thank you guys so much and every every view matters with this channel because it's really helping me out with everything that's going on right now and it's my getaway from current life situations and everything like that so thank you thank you thank you to all my friends and family and you guys viewing without further ado fill the beard and deuces